Hi, this is Andy Stein reporting from YB Choice Korean Karate Center in South River. We are here to celebrate White Lion Day, which is part of their Spirit of Taekwondo project. The students here are participating in the Philadelphia Zoo's Animal Adopt program. Master Robert, why did your school decide to help the white lion? Well, the martial arts have also respected and admired the members of the animal kingdom for their fighting prowess. Uh, some styles revolve around tiger techniques, some crane techniques, even snake, even monkey techniques. Uh, the white lion has been always revered as a symbol of nobility and mysterious strength. I have, I guess, more respect um, for, for endangered species. I know um, that, that some animals have um, uh, trouble surviving uh, in, in the wild, so they bring them in and try and, they try and breed them and try and keep their species um, uh, opulent. They try and keep, keep the species plentiful. What can you tell us about white lions? Well, white, white lions are very rare animals. So they're endangered species, right? Yes. What does Taekwondo have to do with white lions? Well, Taekwondo represents all living things. Why are these animals becoming extinct? Well, since the coloration of the white lions are that bright white color, they're very easily spotted by other animals, and unfortunately they don't survive that much in the wild. Uh, also, they're a prime target for poachers and hunters. Lions are very powerful and fast. Um, they, they have a lot of speed and they seem to be very courageous. That's how they appear. They are um, very strong. Robert, what are the principles of Taekwondo? Power, speed, balance, concentration, and respect. One, power, two, speed, three, balance, four, concentration, five, respect. How long have you been in Taekwondo? I have been in Taekwondo about three months. How come you started it? learn self-defense and self-discipline.